How it's made. Airplanes. Airplanes, one of the most influential inventions of the 20th century, if not ever. To be honest, nothing has revolutionized our world like aviation. To be sure, the internet was a pretty decent invention and didn't shrink the world enough to connect. Air travel really made the world smaller and changed travel time from months to hours. As far as history can tell, the flight was in human dreams and imaginations. For years, people believed that sticking wings on their arms helped them to fly. Unfortunately, those who believed it failed tremendously. It was only recently that the man jumped into the air on a ship heavier than the air. Most believe that the Wright brothers invented the plane. Now, it's true that they were the first humans to achieve a heavier flight than in the air, although there is an interesting argument that New Zealand aviators succeeded in flying twice as long as Wright's months ago, but they were certainly not the first to only people working on the flight. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel How It's Made. Before jumping into the video, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to our channel. Also hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload a new video. That said, let's begin. Overview of an aeroplane Airplanes are one of a class of fixed-wing aircraft that is heavier than air, propelled by screw propellers or high-speed jets and supported by the dynamic reaction of air to the wings. See flight history for an example of the development of airplanes and the emergence of civil aviation. Key components of an airplane are the wing system to maintain the airplane during flight, the tail wings to stabilize the wings, the movable surface to control the attitude of the airplane in flight and the necessary parts to pass the vehicle, a power plant to provide thrust. You need to be prepared to support the plane when it is stationary on the ground and during takeoff and landing. Most airplanes have a sealed fuselage for accommodating crew, passengers and cargo. The cockpit is the area where pilots operate controls and instruments for maneuvering airplanes. An airplane is a powered aircraft that is propelled forward in the air by the thrust of an engine. We all know that, but how do we get to this stage? How are airplanes made? Are airplanes mass produced? Does the factory produce hundreds of planes at the same time as small appliances? Or do you produce one plane at a time like a handmade antique? Or is the truth a mixture of both statements? Building something so huge and having the ability to fly requires several stages of design and manufacturing. Let's take a look at those stages together and learn how an airplane is made. The making of airplanes, the design stage. The purpose and specifications of the aircraft are established during the design and planning process. The first step is to use drawings and equations. At this stage, the enterprise uses a computer to create and plan the design. The simulation phase then begins, using the computer again to perform the initial simulation of the aircraft. A small model of every design or specific part of the plane is then created and tested in a wind tunnel to test and experience its aerodynamics. The design and planning stages can take up to four years. The construction stage. An airplane consists of several major components such as the fuselage, wings, tail, undercarriage and one or more engines. All of these components are made up of thousands of small parts. The smaller parts are assembled individually and then assembled. For airplanes, if two or more components need to be welded together, the process must meet the strictest and specific safety regulations and standards. The National Aerospace and Defense Contractors Accreditation Program NADCAP, sets global requirements for quality, quality control and quality insurance for all aircraft structures. Few companies in the world produce large-scale aeroplanes, however aircraft construction is usually a process that involves many other companies and factories in addition to the major manufacturers. Other companies often produce components that go into airplanes or just create the parts that will be used to create the main components. For example, a company can be responsible for manufacturing airplane windows. Also, because this process is not limited to companies in the same city or country as the manufacturing plant, airplane parts may come from all over the world. The assembly stage. Completed unexpected parts are sent to the main factory of an airplane company that is a production line. Now you're ready to join the parts together to form an airplane. There may be a dedicated production line for the wing and fuselage assembly on certain parts of the plane, especially for very large planes. After assembly of the entire airplane, it is thoroughly inspected for defects. After approval by the inspector, the plane will undergo a series of flight tests to ensure that all systems are functioning properly and that the plane is functioning smoothly and without problems. But that is not the final stage. After passing all these tests, the plane is ready to undergo a final fix, including internal composition, painting or cosmetic work. After this stage, the plane is finally ready for delivery to the customer. Plane making materials The aircraft manufacturing process includes many materials for manufacturing aircraft and can go into wood, some composites, synthetic fibers and some types of metals. The first aircraft were made of wood and covered with cloth, but then the aircraft industry developed to be made of a mixture of metal and aluminium. It is also characterized by its strength and lightweight and aircraft building materials are not limited to them. Some aircraft such as engines also contain titanium metal and some aircraft composites can reach half of the proportion so some very lightweight composites in exchange for strength. The best option in the process of manufacturing an aircraft. Aircraft factories produce three major types of aircraft. Number 1. General Aircraft the International Civil Aviation Organization defines the operation of a civil aviation aircraft in three categories. 
general aviation, airlift and civil air transport. General aviation therefore represents the civil transport and the recreational component of aviation. It also includes activities surrounding forms of aircraft housing construction, flight training, flying clubs, aerial spraying, philanthropy and humanitarian transport. Private flights take place on a variety of aircraft including lightweight and ultra-lightweight aircraft, sports aircraft, business aircraft such as private jets, gliders and helicopters. Flight can be carried out under the rules of both visual flight rules and instrument flight rules and controlled airspace can be used with permission. Aerial work is by definition separated from general aviation by ICAO. These activities include agriculture, construction, photography, surveying, observation and patrol, search and rescue and aerial advertising. However, ICAO has considered officially extending the definition of general aviation to include aerial work for statistical purposes reflecting general usage. Number 2. Commercial Transport Aircraft Transport aircraft are a wide range of aircraft including passenger planes, aircraft usually large, mostly operated by airlines, are intended to carry multiple passengers or cargo in commercial services. A freighter is a fixed-wing aircraft designed and modified for the transportation of goods rather than passengers, which lack passenger equipment and generally equipped with one or more large doors for loading cargo. Mail planes are planes used to carry mail. Army, military transport aircraft, planes or helicopters are used to deliver weapons. Military equipment is typically outside the commercial flight route in controlled airspace and has historically been used to transport paratroopers and tow military gliders, also known as military freighters. Number 3. Warplane Fighters are fixed-wing military aircraft designed primarily for air-to-air -air combat. In military conflicts, the role of fighters is to establish air superiority on the battlefield. Controlling airspace above the battlefield allows bombers and attack aircrafts to engage in the tactical and strategic bombing of enemy targets. The main performance features of a fighter include not only firepower but also its high speed and maneuverability when compared to the target aircraft. The success or failure of combatants' efforts to acquire air superiority fighters depends on several factors including pilot skills, the tactical integrity of the doctrine for deploying fighters, and the number and performance of those fighters. Many modern fighters have secondary features such as ground attacks and some types such as fighter bombs are designed from the beginning for two roles. The design of other fighters is highly specialized while playing the role of the main air superiority fighter. These include interceptors, heavy fighters and night fighters. General aviation activities are divided into personal aviation, recreational aviation and rescue services, with most common aircraft being small and equipped with one or two engines, some with jet engines. However, most are powered by propellers. Commercial transport aircraft are large and can only transport passengers or goods. The airline operates these aircrafts, the smallest capable of accommodating 20 to 100 passengers and the largest accommodating more than 100 passengers. Fighters include bombers and warships owned by governments. Let us know about the video in the comments section below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. We will see you in the next video.